Greetings, NJRoot22.com here for our new uh, in between Christmas and New Year's supermarket roundup. I uh, hope everybody had a good Christmas. Uh, and we're going to talk, we're going to go straight from the top here. Kings, we normally never talk about them too much because they're extremely expensive. However, if you pay attention, you can find some good things in here. We don't need a lot of junk food and breads and stuff, but they do have a pretty good deal on some meat products this week, I think. Uh, the Bell and Evans breaded chicken tenders are not available at ShopRite and they're pretty good. Uh, we like them for the kids. Buy one, get one free, that's the best deal going. This USD uh, Angus slider, six bucks a pound, it's a little bit higher than I normally like to pay, but it's Angus, so it's probably worth it. Um, I'm gonna try, I'll try them. And they got some sweet Italian or hot Italian sausages for buy one, get one free. Sausages are a great thing to eat, I think. Um, and also they got the avocados at pretty much going price um, these days. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't pay more than that, uh, especially when you know you can get them for 50 cents at Aldi sometimes. Um, and interesting here, if I don't eat cake, I, I mean, I used to love eating cake, but this looks really good. If you want to have a little uh, New Year's party and get a, like a three pound triple layer carrot cake, it's normally like 20 bucks or 18 dollars It's only 10 bucks. I think uh, your guests would like that. So even though you're not doing them any favors by uh, giving them junk food. Um, Bishop's IGA and Pennington uh, Market um, also, we shop here just periodically just for the sake of supporting them, even if it doesn't mean we get the best deal. Uh, but I like I like hot dogs, the sodium nitrate and all. I like these Nathan hot dogs. They, I will buy a bunch of these if they have the cheddar cheese ones. Those are to die for. They're like. They don't hurt your blood sugar, you won't gain weight, I mean they may not be the healthiest for you but uh, with other factors, but I like I like my hot dogs, they're, they're just such a go-to meal, eat three or four with no bun. Anyway, we're not talking about Stop and Shop ever again, I, I, I hate them, I, I hate Stop and Shop, I'm, I'm done with them. I went there a week or two ago and it was just a disaster. And uh, Job Lot, one of my favorite stores to shop at to save money. It's, just, it's a fun game too. Because when you buy things that you can use and you get a free gift card, it's really like getting stuff for free. And this week they have an ongoing thing. If you can find the AA batteries, but you get you know, 24 batteries for 16 bucks. That's not really the greatest deal, but you get them for free because you have $16 to spend another time. And they don't have the greatest toys. They have some brand name stuff. Uh, but 30% off all toys. I went to Rite Aid uh, last night and got uh, all their toys are 50% off and we got some really good Disney stuff even though I don't like Disney uh, but half off and that's cheaper. If you could find a hundred of them you could flip them on eBay and make, make yourself an, an, an extra five or six hundred bucks cash for all the work. I didn't like this mayo by the way. This uh, Woodstock, it's all expired anyway. I, something was wrong with it. I got my money back. I didn't do it. And there was nothing really else going on at Odd Lot. And we're down to ShopRite. It's their annual or periodic can can sale here. I call it the pack, let's get rid of the package and canned food off our shelves so we can rotate inventory sale. Um, it's not a bad idea to have some uh, non perishable foods in your basement or stock pile just in case, but it's not like we're living out in the middle of the wilderness and you need stuff to survive. There's always food around. Um, and I'm not a big fan of any canned foods, especially soups, because they have, they're loaded with the worst kind of salt. They're not sea salt. Um, they're preserved, and you, you gotta watch out for that. Don't have a, I wouldn't recommend a regular diet of, um, of canned foods with, loaded with bad salt. Um, and this is interesting too. They got the, I used to like Progresso soup as a kid. Um, but they have you buy 10 for nine bucks, excluding organic. It's always excluding the good stuff. Um, Oscar Mayer bacon. Uh, the only uh, I found of Oscar Mayer bacon that I like it's this. Uh, it's the 12 ounce package though of the uncured nitrate free bacon. It's good. It's really good bacon. Um, and the funny thing is with this um, with this uh, can can sale, the the meat at ShopRite is normally like. Page two, it's all meat here, and you can look. This is where you look for your your core nutrients, but they have it laid out differently this uh, week because of the can can sale. So there was a bunch of just processed carby foods 
And I, I can't even talk about it because we don't think it's good for you and why would I promote something that I don't stand behind? Anyway, I mean there's a couple good things here and there if you really look. I didn't really want to go too nuts, you know, like you know, organic coconut oil down here. This is this is a good uh, deal. They they relisted it on this page here. Look, I, I picked up on the fact that they listed stuff multiple times. I guess that's not bad and not a bad idea because not everybody reads it uh, um, line for line. Then they moved the meat to the middle section. I didn't really see anything worth mentioning. Um, I'll tell you this much: just avoid this stuff. I'm going to point it out to you right here. See this right here, Chef Curtis Stone created seasoned ground beef. Don't allow other people to season your food. It, I looked at it, it was filled with junk seasonings. Do not do it, it's so bad for you. Season your own plain meat, your own way, with your own chosen ingredients. When you allow other people to season it for you, yeah, it's, it's totally, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Out of your control at that point. Um, there was something else I wanted to point out about uh, Earthbound Farms, I'll find it. I'll find it somewhere. It's, I think it's the next page. Um, Earthbound Farms is a is an organic uh, salad company or vegetable company. Um, oh yeah, I'll tell you. Keep, I'll keep going. But the Shoprite cheese is always uh, Dutch Farms. I'm gonna try that this week. I'm just curious to see uh, see how they taste because uh, the Shoprite chunk cheese. I don't care how bad it is. The cheese is minimally uh, problematic for most people unless you have a lactose problem, which is probably your fault. For eating other junk. Um, I'm just going to try out that cheese. Hold on, I'm going to get back to this. Earthbound Farms here. This is a company, Earthbound Farm. It's an organic company in California and they ship their lettuces all over the country and uh, that can't be that good for you. But apparently they were they were a very profitable company and they sold uh, for $330 million one, in 2013 to then Danon, Dan One or Dan Own. It's a French company. They bought the Earthbound Farms for, a, I think, a twelve and a half billion dollars. And now they're having trouble. And Danon is trying to sell this uh, company. So I don't think Earthbound Farms is going to be around for much longer. I think they're doomed. Uh, buy local, local veggies if you can. And you know, it's not easy in the winter around here, but uh, that's that. And I think that's it. I, I didn't have a very exciting, it, it's a never really exciting shop right roundup or, or a supermarket roundup. But just avoid processed food. Try to eat m mostly meats. That's, that's how we've maintained our health. Um, and avoid the junk. It's addictive and just bad for you. You'll be in the doctor taking pills. Enjoy your new year. I'll see you in 2019.